This is your CBS 46 News update. Good morning, I'm Rob Hughes. Atlanta police now moving to deploy a special squad to all of Atlanta's parks. The change coming just months after Katie Janess and her dog were brutally murdered in Piedmont Park, her killer still on the loose. New numbers just released from APD show since 2018, Piedmont Park leads all Atlanta parks with 153 total crimes. Police say the bulk of those are property crimes and thefts, but it was Janessa's murder that really created the demand for better security. There's nothing new that we have that we can release right now, um, but this case is being actively worked. Um, it is a case that is close to us, as all our homicides are, um, but we have investigators, several investigators that are assigned to this case specifically, and they are going over everything that they can um, to bring this to an, to an end. The new safety upgrades include the installation of more cameras and designating a specific squad to patrol city parks. Police say they're still trying to determine the number of cameras for each park and will present a final plan to city council in December. Atlanta Public Schools is recruiting teachers for virtual expansion. School officials say they're trying to hire more teachers to ensure students who want to enroll in the district's virtual program can make the switch. Since mid-September, more than 1,600 students have applied to Atlanta Virtual Academy. The program begins in January. Families have until October 22nd to apply for the virtual program. Starting today, there's a new vaccination site in Fulton County. The Fulton County Board of Health will begin offering the Pfizer vaccine at the Emma Darnell Aviation Museum and Conference Center. That's at 3900 Aviation Circle. The new location will offer first and second shots as well as boosters weekdays from 9, 9.30 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. A crime alert in Clayton County as detectives are working two disturbing cases of bodies being dumped on major interstates. Police have now identified the woman as 30 year old Cormella Thomas. She was found shot to death on the side of Interstate 675 in Ellenwood. Records show Thomas was a business owner in Metro Atlanta. And less than 10 hours later, a man was found dead on the side of Roy Huey and Westbury Roads. The man also had been shot multiple times. Right now, police are not saying whether the deaths are related. This morning, a man accused of mailing drugs to prisoners across Georgia is in custody. Police arrested Stephen Mott after finding this drug processing operation at a hotel in Roswell. Police say Mott would convert powdered drugs into liquid, then soak them in paper and mail the paper to Georgia prisons. Investigators say Mott is a known member of the Ghostface Gangsters. Today, at least eight Atlanta mayoral candidates are set to take part in a candidate forum. Candidates are expected to answer questions about health, child care, pre-K, family engagement, and more. The virtual forum is set to start at 5.30 today. Okay, let's get the latest on today's weather with meteorologist Ella Dorsey. Ella, another wet one. Yeah, another washout, especially through the lunch hour today, but overall scattered showers likely through the entire day. Otherwise, it's going to be breezy and gloomy with temperatures in the low 70s through the afternoon. We're going to get about another inch or an inch and a half of rain today. That's less than yesterday, but because the ground's already saturated, there's a heightened risk for flash flooding, especially from Atlanta up to the north. So be aware of that through the day and also through the night, especially if you live in the mountains. Heavy rain is likely through the overnight hours tomorrow. Same thing. Scattered showers through the day. We will start to see the sun tomorrow and we will start to dry out after sunrise on Friday it does look mostly dry. But by the time we reach this weekend, dry conditions take over. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s. A really nice weekend ahead and Columbus Day looks dry as well. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.